Hello and welcome, it's Rob here and today I'm going to be looking at hopefully the difference in revs of these four motors. As you may have seen on one of my last videos I did a speed comparison between my Super Clod Buster and Mark's. Mine had these Holmes Hobbies Retro Sport 540 15 turn motors in them and Mark's had the stock Marbucci silver can. So as you saw if you seen if you watched it there was no difference in speed. So I thought well maybe this isn't up to scratch on the revs or whatever, I don't know. So I thought I'd check and as I was thinking that I discovered this old Johnson motor which is again a Tamiya stock silver can so I thought I'd see if there's any difference between the Marbucci and the Johnson and then I also found a spare Absima thrust 15 turn to uh, compare between all of them now it's not a definitive scientific well I suppose you could say it's scientific because you know I'm on a workbench but it's not definitive because this isn't a calibrated um, massively expensive accurate tachometer it's a cheap thing off Evil Bay and you know if it says it's doing more revs than it should according to the specs then so be it I'm not interested whether it does or not really all I'm interested in is if this one revs more than this one or vice versa and at the end of the day we'll have a look and see which one revs the most um, because they're brush motors I've got a really old whoops um, manual speed controller I think there's three speeds in this is there from memory one two and three so there we go now coming back to the specs and figures anyway what I've found is that According to somebody on the internet, the silver can will do 14,000 revs at 7.2 volts and obviously it's 27 turn. The Holmes Hobby 15 turn, I was given or I found a KV number which equates to 20,880 revs at 7.2 and the Absima 15 turn I've found quotes of 32,000 revs at 7.2 volts so we'll have a look okay now the way this works is you have to turn it on and then I'm going to turn this over just to make sure that the laser lines up with the reflective strip and then I'll press the button and you see the laser hopefully maybe not I don't know and then I'm just gonna go whoops now I'm not sure as I say it's not scientific because that's showing 21,000 however if I go into the memory we'll see that it's actually saying he did a peak revs of 16734 now I can turn that off and if I turn it back on we've zeroed again so I'll set the next one up and uh, come back to you shortly okay so we've now got the Johnson silver can so again just check there we go <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> oh dear. Right, so the memory says 18,704 after he finished making that squealing noise. So yeah, you can tell that's an old motor. So, that's faster than the Marbucci. Well, wonder why Tamiya changed to Marbucci? Who knows? Let's crack on and we can do the thrust, not the thrust, the retro sport next. Okay, so we've got the retro sport 15 turn in now. And for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do full forward throttle followed by full reverse just to see if there is any major difference which could be limiting the speed as you know the clod has two motors and you have to wire one uh, in reverse shall we say to uh, make sure that uh, the whole car moves in one direction so let's try it there we have 24481 Slightly faster in reverse, I think. Because <laughs> uh, honestly, I can't remember which way round that is. It's been that long since I've used one in anger. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> we've got 24481 in one direction and 24570 in the other. Right, so just this. Uh, thrust to do. Okay so here's the thrust let's see what it does. Okay this one is uh, the first one that is lower than specified at only a 26.952 but it's still a couple of thousand faster than this retro sport okay then folks so as far as i'm concerned in conclusion we've got the marbucci which at 17617 is slightly slower than the johnson at 18437 then the retro sport at 24570 and then the Absima at 26952 but also the only one that's slower than specified so draw your own conclusions my friends I hope you've enjoyed watching and look forward to seeing you on the next one bye